What's up guys, it's Christian, Disturb614, and today I'm going to be showing you the pre-installed applications and come on all new Mac computers. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'll start down here at the Finder, which is basically the start menu for PC. Open up a new Finder window, and from here you can access pretty much everything. You have your uh, hard drive right here. You can go through applications, your library, system files, users, and it even has user guide and information. iDisk is for mobile me if you have that set up. Desktop, this would show you everything that's on your desktop, but mine's clear right now. Applications, goes to your application folder. This is all the stuff that I've downloaded or that was pre-installed as well. And go through all those through here. My account, and go through everything, my downloads, movies, music, which will go through iTunes and everything like that, and that's where all that is located, my pictures as well. Okay, and documents, your saved documents that you have, they'll be right here. And Dropbox doesn't come with the Mac, but uh, this is just an extra folder that I've added by downloading the Dropbox application. Okay, and that's pretty much it in the Finder. The only thing, uh, unlike a PC that has the start, shutdown, and everything like that, and the start menu, um, up in the top left-hand corner of the Apple logo, that's where this is for here. Sleep, restart, shut down. I can log out of my account, log into a different one. Um, my preferences and stuff like that. <coughs> okay. The next is dashboard, which is an, only an icon, but you can also have a keyboard shortcut like I do. Like mine is... F4 on my keyboard. Let me go ahead and click into this. This is just all my little widgets and everything that I've gone through. Um, these are my main ones that I use right now. Let me go ahead and go to plus. And here you can add stuff. It has this list. Uh, not only things I've downloaded, but stuff that was already pre-installed on there. So, there we go. That's that. Manage your widgets. You can delete what you have on here right now. Okay. <coughs> now next is the mail account, which let me go into this. Now this is mail. This is uh, you can set up any of your accounts, your email accounts. I'll show up in here. You can put them together, or you can individually do them, and they'll all be separate on there. And there we go. That's all this says. Read your mail. Go through here. It gives you a preview window. You can open it in its own window. There we go. There's that. You can do it, of course, all your email stuff from there. Okay. Go ahead and quit here. Now, the next one is the browser that comes with it Safari. Okay. All right now, I have it set to go to apple.com for my start page, but uh, Safari is a pretty good browser. I barely use Firefox. I don't know why I'm just sort of addicted to this one. So, uh, there we go. That's pretty much it. From Safari, you can access your top slides right here. Bookmarks, extra bookmarks that I haven't put up here. Um, there is a blue star in the corner if the website has changed since you last seen it. There we go. That's pretty much all that is right there. That's your web browser. Also, up here on the top, you can see your history and everything like that through there as well. Everything's really easy. iChat is next. Um, the only account I have synced through here is my AIM account right now. Nobody's online. But uh, iChat's a fairly good deal. You can, uh, you can do video back and forth, video chat, if you have you know somebody who has that kind of account. Okay, that's it. That's iChat. Address book. I'm not going to open this one up because I have my contacts and everything in there. There might be some numbers shown in there, so I'm not going to open this up. iCal. iCal is your calendar and everything like that. I just downloaded a few to show you all guys. I have the uh, Dallas Cowboys calendar that I downloaded and U.S. Holidays. So, here we go. I have those on there, and it will show you like this. You can change how you want to see it. Here's the month calendar. You can see it for a week and the day. 
And also, these iCalendars can be synced to your iPhone if you have them. It's pretty much on calendar application. Okay, let me see. Um, preview.